Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to save some money? Not just save some money, but save some money on some video games and video game consoles. That's exactly what we're going to do today. Today I'm going to tell you the best Amazon Prime gaming deals, and this extends to other retailers as well. This is definitely something you're going to want to check out. Let's go ahead and get right into this video. Yes, that is right. Today we are going to save some money on some video games and video game consoles and video game adjacent stuff. Before we get started, make sure you hit a like and subscribe. And down below is a link to Twitch, Discord, and Instagram. Come and join the community. Let's go ahead and get into these deals. The first place we're going to start is techradar.com. And we're going to look in the US section because you have to make sure you're not in UK. Unless you are in the UK, check for the UK section. But for this video, I will focus on the US deals. Look, right off the bat, a refurbished Nintendo Switch OLED. Normally $350, at Best Buy this is $299, or you can get it at Walmart for $284.99. That is an amazing deal for a Nintendo Switch OLED, and when you buy it from these retailers, you still have the protection, so that's not a bad way to go. If you're looking for a Switch Lite, this is only $187 at Amazon, and yeah, that's not bad. This is for a new console, so the 8-bit Do Ultimate Controller, this is such a solid controller. Um, normally $70, now $61 at Amazon. Again, this is a great, great controller. If you need a gaming chair, you can now get one at Amazon for $79. This is $70. These chairs are expensive. Or if you want one with a little bit more pizzazz, some colors on it, um, this is $90 at Amazon. You can't beat that, dude. Now we have to head over to GameStop real quick because it is GameStop's pro member week and this um, goes along with Amazon Prime Day or whatever. And the deals here are insane. All we have to do is hit up here, go to the pro section, and pick what you want. We can go down here and see some stuff. Like look at this, Call of Duty World War II for Xbox One, Gold Edition. $4.99. This is a great game, one of my favorite Call of Duty games I've ever played. Like that game is seriously great. Imagine if you could create a game like that, but you could adjust it and tweak it exactly how you want it. You just need the knowledge and experience and then you can create the next best game and have an opportunity for growth. If that sounds exciting, then let me tell you about Southern New Hampshire University, who is sponsoring this video. SNHU has one of the largest accredited nonprofit online degree offerings in the country. I want to talk to you about their game development program. This is such an amazing resource to be able to take advantage of in modern times. In this program, you'll learn how to create realistic, dynamic gameplay experiences with game AI, game physics, 2D and 3D graphics, and interface design. You'll also learn multiple computer programming languages, and you'll learn 3D modeling and texturing with game art software. Dream up an idea for a game and mold it as you see fit from start to finish. You will learn how to research, develop, and contribute to advances and trends within the field of game programming. So you will always be at the forefront of the gaming world. You won't follow the trends, you will set them. Courses are taught by faculty with real world experience. You will be taught with knowledge and passion about the ins and outs of the gaming industry. SNHU is radically affordable. Cheaper tuition means more money for video games. Go to snhu.edu slash Joe. It's also linked in my description. When you request information, a real person will hop on a call and discuss how the program can benefit you personally. So right here, you can see that a PS4 is 170. I bought my PS4 used like a month or two ago and I paid $200 for it. And I absolutely love this console. That is not a bad way to get a PS4 or an Xbox One, 140. Still a great console. I love Pokemon cards. I'm wearing a Pokemon shirt. Pokemon cards are getting expensive. This is two packs of Pokemon cards with like a little figure or an eraser or something for seven dollars this is normally 15 bucks pokemon cards never go on sale or you can get an actual trainer box for 35 dollars look star wars battlefront playstation 4 one dollar for a game what the hell's going on here uncharted 4 2.99 these games are insanely cheap assassin's creed odyssey ten dollars but if you're a pro member you actually get it cheaper which is crazy yeah Every great Switch game is basically $20 off. Super Mario Party, Metroid Dread, Breath of the Wild, Pokemon, Pokemon Shield, like all 40 bucks, 38 bucks respectively. Pokemon Snap, this game is underrated in my opinion on the Switch, $35. And to be honest, it's the best looking Pokemon game on the Switch. Let's go Pikachu, probably my favorite Pokemon game on the Switch, 40 bucks. For some reason, Pokemon Shield is 38, but Pokemon Sword is uh, 35, so just go with that one. Look, a Switch game for $4.74. Like, I don't know what I need to tell you here. A $4 Switch game? You can't even get like two cheeseburgers anymore at McDonald's for that price. NBA 2K19, $10, but this game does require like 4,000 gigabytes of storage. Let's check consoles and hardware. 
already went over the PS4 and Xbox One. Looking to get the white Xbox One, 140. Um, the PS4 Slim, 180. Arcade One Up Mortal Kombat. This is really cool. You can essentially have your own arcade in your bedroom. Normally 230, now 160. Monster Hunter World, 499. That is crazy. Dude, Pokemon cards being on sale is so crazy. I know if you're not a Pokemon fan, you might like think, oh, it's just Pokemon cards. I'm telling you, these things are getting expensive. They went from like $3.50 a pack to $4 a pack, now like 5 bucks a pack. This is like four packs for $12. Not a bad way to go. Street Fighter V, $10. Dude, Final Fantasy XV, three bucks. This is crazy. These prices are insane. Kingdom Hearts 3, $4. Holy crap. <laughs> wow, you can still buy Nintendo Wii games. And I don't know how long that's gonna last, but just for the sake of it, why not buy a Wii game? Doom, $5. Like, yes, I like Switch games, but the best deals right here are for Xbox and PlayStation. These prices are unreal. Outer Worlds, such a fun freaking game. Um, unfortunately, it looks horrendous on the Switch, but on the PS4, 10 bucks. Can't go wrong. Death Stranding, $10. Batman Arkham Knight, $10. These prices are so crazy. Like, yes, I want Switch games, but oh my god, these are so cheap. You could literally get 20 games for $100. And these aren't like shovelware and third-party games. These are first-party amazing games. 20 video games for $100. You wouldn't need to buy a game for like the next five years. Persona 5, $5. Look, even PS5 stuff. Immortals Phoenix Rising, 10 bucks. <laughs> Mario Kart on the Wii. It is so crazy to see Wii games. What the hell is going on here? Look, Madden 21, $3. Dude, it's a video game for three bucks. WWE 2K23, I heard this is actually pretty good. 35 bucks. Scarlet Nexus, $10. I don't know what this is, but it's five bucks. Look, I want price low to high. Look at all these games that are under 10 bucks. Like, this is next-gen gaming. Look, you can get BB and Tina at the horse farm. What else do I need to tell you? Ladies and gentlemen, the point of this video is Amazon Prime Day is here, and there's some great gaming deals. Amazon and GameStop. But if you go and search at Target, Walmart, Best Buy, any of these, you're going to find deals. So the point of this video is to bring this to your attention. I thought there was only one Amazon Prime Day a year. Apparently I was wrong, but this is a benefit for us. So go online and save some money for some great video games. I also want to thank SNHU for sponsoring this video. If you're looking for a career in the gaming world, why not check it out? It doesn't cost anything and it can really help your future. But you guys know me, I'll see you with a new video soon. Peace out.